we are back for another one and we are on the Camaro again. I've been working on golf carts and BMWs. I've been waiting on this. So, I have the parts in to do the brakes. And I want to see this thing do a burnout, dang it. So, I ain't even going to intro this for 10 minutes. Let's get this turd pulled out, turned around, and let's get it right here up on four jack stands and pull all the wheels off. Perfect execution and plan on my part, if I have to say. Except for the fact that I don't think I can open the door. <laughs> It'll be all right. Hey, this puppy, it ran pretty good. Carburetor still needs some work, but I, I have a plan for that too. Let's get this turret up on jack stands. We've got the car jacked up in the air. It's a little bit higher in the back. That's because I got to get to that um, T or distribution block for the rear. So I got it just a little bit higher in the back. The front, I got the wheels off the ground and enough where I can poke my big fat head in there. Let's knock these wheels off, cut some hoses. First thing we're gonna do is just start coating everything in TV Blaster. I don't wanna break one of these brake lines cause that's gonna turn this job into a heck of a lot longer than what I wanna work on it today. So hopefully this PV Blaster can soak in for a little bit. I also have a propane torch that I will bring out and put some heat on it if I have to. I don't want to, but I'm gonna do what I have to do. All right, first little job is see if we can break these bleeders. <clears throat> oh yeah, that's a victory. I'm gonna soak these because I didn't buy more. So I'm gonna soak them. I need these cleaned out so they can shoot some fluid through them. So I'm going to go ahead and take this bleeder off and the passenger side bleeder off and let them soak for the remainder of cutting the tubes off and replacing the master. This is a 10 millimeter socket, by the way, y'all. Oh, yeah. Now, the reason I used the 10 millimeter socket is because it fit on there snug and I wanted it grabbing every corner of this uh, bleeder. I didn't want to be with a wrench and just grabbing two and that have the potential to roll you know so been soaking some parts for a carburetor and marble mystery oil might as well let them soak too let's go ahead and give these tubes the chop and chop yeah they've swelled up I figured that was the case. I mean, it's got trying to pass a little bit of fluid, but they're just swelled up mold. Now for this bolt, we're going to give it the hand chop. chop. Look at that. Just like that, baby. Hey, y'all don't say it. I'm not going to say it. Don't jinx me. There's some fluid coming out of there. That's a good sign. Hey, that, that being stored with fluid means that uh it probably didn't rust the cylinder on the inside so my gamble is that these calipers up here are okay that's what i'm hoping so if we can if the other side does the same thing we might be in business here hey ah, cut 
Hand chop. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. It wanted to link some too. Another good sign. Hopefully they sent me more crush washers. Now I do have some crush washers, so. But it'd be nice if they sent me some extras. Mm. Probably gonna have to put some heat on it. It doesn't it doesn't feel nice, so I'm just gonna heat it. Now this is this is a propane torch, y'all. It's not oxygen acetylene or anything like that. It's not gonna get it smoking hot to where it's gonna uh, it's gonna melt. It's just gonna get it good and hot, so hopefully it'll turn, you know. That's my plan anyway. Y'all missed that hose exploding. <laughs> I turned the camera off and the rest of that hose just disintegrated itself and scared the crap out of me. But I got the nut to turn. And that was what I was going for. I'm sure I'll catch it again on the other side because I'm gonna have to do the exact same thing on the other side. That's what happened to the hose. It couldn't release any pressure because it's so closed up so it just blew out, baby. <laughs> I keep catching crap on fire. There it goes. Let's see if she released now. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. We're making progress. All right, so now we got both lines off. Hey, that baby has fluid in it. So, I'm gonna get my little sucker thing and suck all that fluid out, and then I'm gonna pop these lines up. What's the chances these lines wanna play nice? Hand hammer. I think it loosened up. It sure did. Look at that, guys. Hand hammer. And that's two, loose. Both lines are off. We saved the hoses, so. Man, I'm just saying, things are looking up over here. Let's see if we can get this master off. Hey, Levi. What are you doing, big man? Yeah, don't take my tools, buddy. I hit my finger. Oh, gosh, I need both hands. Oh. Yep, that'd be why that ain't working. Now this might not look like a new one, but it is. It's just been sitting on the shelf for a while. I actually put it on that Nova that I got running a while back, but uh, I pulled it back off because, well, it's a good one. I would paint it, but um, it wouldn't match the car. It'd be nice and painted and everything else would look like crap, so I'm not gonna paint it. There we go. As the Germans say, guten tight. Let's go ahead and put our new hoses on. Yep, they give us new crush washers. Now, it took me a second to figure this out, but that is not a, a hexagon. It's got a round on one side. And if you look here, 
this is the same way it's got a round side and then one two three four six corner so it only goes in there one way you can't mess it up let's go check on our bleeders and then we'll have the front assembled and done they've been soaking for a while but they're still pretty gummed up so i'm gonna try to clean them up shoot some juice in there this is gonna take a while or i might give up so i'm just gonna turn the camera off and clean for a little while and we'll see what happens so here's here's what i'm doing y'all i got a drill bit that is just under the size of the hole that's coming out of the back of the bleeder and i'm just drilling out all the rust for now until I can get new bleeders, this will this will work just fine. I'm just stopping right whenever I see the drill bit crest that hole right there. So it works now. It was crammed full just a minute ago. All right, so we got two bleeders. Let's check on these right here, see if these are gonna cooperate. Oh yeah. That's good. Check this one. Oh yeah, we're good here. It's one bleeder. Leave it loose for now. Go ahead and install the back crush washer. Put it through, and then our other crush washer on this side. Now I gotta get it. All right, we got that on. Let's jump to the other side and knock it out. All right, so now that we have the front pretty well buttoned up, let's see what we gotta do to the rear. It actually doesn't look bad in here. I mean, the pads are about gone, but the boots are still on the wheel cylinder. So, I mean, maybe, maybe they're all right. Maybe we pop the bleeders off and make sure we can get fluid through them and try to just see what happens, you know, instead of going through the whole process of putting wheel cylinders in it. I mean, the boots look okay. It might be fine. I got both bleeders out, no trouble. That's why I didn't even film it because it was just uneventful. So I'm gonna give them the same treatment, treatment, drill bit, clean them up, put them back in, and we're gonna we're gonna risk it and see if they're the wheel cylinders are okay. Maybe you never know. All right, so we're at the crappy part where you got to be underneath the car. Go ahead and cut this hose. Yeah, it's pretty well collapsed. Oh man, I don't, I don't want to fight with that line. I got safety glasses this time, so if that line explodes, man, I'm right up here on, under here with it. So if it explodes, I want to have something to protect my my eyes. I only got two of them. I'm trying not to get it too hot. That is the return line right there. So. I don't know if it has gas in it, and I don't really want to find out the hard way. It needs more heat. Dang it. Success, y'all. It's turning. I mean, it's puffing. That baby got hot. All right. There's one half of it out and it's leaking brake fluid. That is a great sign. That means that line is somewhat clear to here. Now we just gotta get, now we just gotta get the top part off and that's gonna be a pain in the, pain in the butt too. 
Come chat. That one's loose. All right, we got one more on the back side. Guys, that fought me like no other. I wound up having to put a, a lot of heat on it. A lot. Then get a pair of vice grips in there because I had rounded off the only good corner I had that I could get to. But vice grips and old hand hammer, it did it. So now let's bench bleed this master. I'm going to show y'all how I do it. Probably not right, but. Go ahead and fill the fill them up. Needed to finish these off anyway. Alright, suck matic on there. Watch the level drain. The same thing over here. Watch the level drain. That's how I do it, y'all. Works for me. Like I said, some people will probably be like, oh my God, you're doing that all wrong, but it's worked for me in the past, so. They say you're supposed to start from the furthest away, but I'm not. I'm gonna start right here, because I am right here. I got fluid. I got a good bit of fluid through there. Now, with these long vacuum bleeders, I still usually wind up going through and uh, giving them at least a couple pumps, you know, just to make sure. I enlisted the help of the wife for a minute. I'm gonna go ahead and check what I've done with the vacuum bleeder. All right, baby. Three and hold. One, two, three, hold. Keep holding. Oh my God. Yeah, that was me. Just, you still holding? Yeah. A little bit of air. One more time. Good fluid. Do it again. One, two, three, Alright, do it again. We got brakes. Alright, vacuum bleed the rear. I'm not going to do the pump job on the rear, but we got brakes in the front. That's really all we need. Well, y'all. I suspended the search for the rear brakes. They never showed up. The vacuum bleeder, it never once got a drop. And I think I found the issue after I'd gotten done. When, well, I'm pretty sure I found the issue after I'd put the car on the ground. I kept seeing a leak up here. And this line right here was leaking. So if I'd have seen it while I was doing the, the bleeding, you know, maybe could have fixed it. But out of time we got front brakes that's all that matters right let's see how good they are
sounds like it's missing. Make sure I didn't pull a plug wire off or something. Maybe it just needs to warm up a minute. pretty good car just needs a little bit more work on some stuff and this baby is gonna be a runner all right I gotta know can we do a burnout You believe that the wrong tire broke traction let's try it again and i'm gonna set you up back here Oh yeah, oh yeah, one tire fryer, baby, but she did it. Well, come on, stay running, stay running. Oh, okay, you can die, it's fine. <laughs> I understand, you've been parked for a long time. Hey, look at that, guys, sitting in a field. I mean, it only took me a couple weeks and one shutdown, but we got this baby doing a burnout. Y'all tune in for next week. We're going to figure something else out to do. Appreciate you for watching.